Hello, this is Dr. Martini, your sexuality expert. And today I get to talk about the importance of sexual fantasies and what the big deal about sexual fantasies is. I'm very excited about it because um, it is one of my favorite topics. Sexual fantasies is basically a picture of your whole sexuality, including all of the components. Um, the contents of sexual fantasies can have a wide range and uh, of imagination and ideas and um, as you know human we human beings can get really creative when it comes to our sexuality and that is why um, sexual fantasies have an important and powerful uh, impact on how you think about sex how you sense your sex and how you feel about sex basically sexual fantasies have a huge impact on how you experience your sexuality. So let's take a look what makes sexual fantasies so powerful and important. I'm going to tell you how sexual fantasies influence all four components of our sexuality. Let's start with the first one. Erotic fantasies and imaginations can trigger the arousal reflex and you can use your sexual fantasies to increase your arousal. That is part of the arousal function, the physiological component of your sexuality. The five senses uh, we use for arousal sources and sexual fantasy is the sixth arousal source and it is, it is a very popular one. And let me tell you, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with using your, sex, your sexual fantasies to increase your arousal. It is your responsibility to manage your arousal curve, meaning you must have the ability to go up with the arousal at will. And a fantasy can do that trick. When you want to climb and the arousal is not increasing with what is currently happening with the stimulations, your mind may be full of other stuff. So you bring up a fantasy, most likely one that you know and like, and it will bring up your arousal and then you can become present again with your body and with your partner, if you're having partner sex. Now there's one thing we have to be, you have to be aware of that erotic fantasies can create distance if you're staying in your head too much. So watch out for that. As you can see, sexual fantasies have an effect on your sexual func function and that is a good thing. Sexual fantasies can have an effect on your cognitive component of your sexuality and the sexual morals are part of that component. The content of your fantasies can influence your sexual positivity and in general, your tolerance towards sexual behaviors of others. If your fantasy is emotionally polarized, meaning if your content is, evolves around being in love, uh, around closeness, intimacy, it's about tender and romantic eroticism, then it is easier to stand behind your sexual desires because romantic vanilla sex is within social morals. You may become judgmental of other type of fantasies, but you're okay with yours. If the content of your fantasy has a genital polarization, where genitally explicit ideas are dominant, or where your imagination takes you into forbidden or taboo scenarios, then you will most likely keep them a secret and sexual secrets are breathing ground for shame and that will affect your sexual belief system. If you are a sex positive person and or have a support system of sex positive friends with whom you can be open and honest about your sexual fantasy, then you can unleash your limitless, limitless sexual creativity, which can have a positive effect on your sexual self-assurance which belongs to the personal component of your sexuality. Sexual desire is part of the personal component. And if you're free to imagine sex scenes in your head without self-judgment and without fear of being judged, that can boost your sexual desire. You don't have to make your fantasies reality. You can pick and choose which one you would like to experience in real life and which one you will just keep for as long as it is doing what you want it to do. If you have that kind of freedom with your mind, that can give your sexual desire a boost. Remember, sex is an activity, and if you're free to have creative, a creative variety 
in your sexual activities. That can increase your sexual pleasure, and it can also increase your feelings of gender affiliation, meaning how you feel about being a woman or how you feel about being a man. This brings us to the last component, the component of relationships. Talking about your sexual fantasies with your partner requires a certain level of communication, and if you have that in your relationship, then you can get insights on your partner's desire, and that can increase your seduction skills because you know what's going on in his or her creative mind. Discussing sexual fantasies openly with a partner also requires for the individual to have done some work around self-assurance and overall competence as a sexual being. And if you have done that work, sharing or exploring sexual fantasies with your partner can be really, really hot and it will increase erotic competence within the relationship. You can learn a lot from your fantasies and if you're in a relationship from the, the fantasies of your partner. So don't be afraid of them. That was a lot of information about sexual fantasies and there is actually more. Um, sexual fantasies come with a lot, a lot of information about the desired sexual behavior. You can take a look at the contents of your own sexual fantasies and you can see how you situate yourself in them. And that will tell you a lot about your desired sexual behavior. For instance, are you, um, are you a participant in your fantasies or are you a voyeur? Are you watching? Um, or is there genital stimulation or is there no genital stimulation? If there is stimulation, are you active in it or are you a passive? Is your sexual archetype invested or is it not invested? Is, um, who's your type in this sexual fantasies? Because the fantasies definitely will clarify your attraction code. It will clarify who you're attracted to. Um, what else do we have? Oh, we got um, who's, whose sexual satisfaction does the focus fall on? Is it yours or is it one of your partners? Are you staying in your fantasies? Are you staying within the vanilla sex? Are you more on a, going on a romantic basis with it? Or are you going outside of the box into the taboo area? Are you, there's all kinds of stuff in there. So as you can see, sexual fantasies are a big deal. And I hope this inspires you to Include them in your sex life, to play with them, to learn from them. And if there's anything about your fantasies that fills you up with shame, please um, do not sit with that alone. Give me a call and we can talk about it. As a clinical sexologist, especially with a sexual corporal background, we, we're not judgmental. And I actually don't look at the contents of your fantasies, but we're going to look at how you feel about it and then we'll make some changes if that's what you want to do. So um, have fun with sexual fantasies and I will talk to you next week. Bye.